Hi, in this video, we will have a look at Microsoft Power Automate Community Thread. So here we are looking to SQL get rows output here. So what the user wants here is based on the unique ID. So we can see here that's one JSON result set coming coming from the get rows version two. Then another one, the second one, it's coming from the second second table. So there are two different tables, two different data sets. Yeah. And based on unique ID, get all fields from table two and table two. I think I believe this is a mistake. It's table one and merge. Please share how to merge. Okay. So what I did here is I created a similar kind of a data here. So that's my result one. And then I have result two also here. So the plan is we need to look for incident ID matching with the change ID. So if it is matched, we need to get the created by created ID, then the incident ID, all that. Okay. So how do we filter this? So that's my first result. This is my second one. So the first one I have incident ID 105. Then I have incident ID 106. Okay. And in result two, I got change ID 105. 106 then change ID 110 also there so that means when we filter it we need to get this result set and also this result set against uh, this incident IDs there are two matching records here and there are no no matching records for 110 okay so for that what first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these results copy in that then adding parse JSON stuff step because we need to iterate those values first so that's coming from the result one that's the result one here then click on the generate from sample and copy that sample data we got yeah okay that's generated the next thing we need to add here is a compose action step you can see here all the fields from the schema and I'm going to add the incident ID. Okay. Because it's an array. See, this is an array actually here. The value is an array here. So that means we got two values here. Since it's an array, so the Power Automate is going to insert automatically and apply to each. Okay. That's done. Next thing is we need to filter the second result set. That is this. So for that, I'm going to do filter filter array that map the second output the JSON data submit so result two actually that's the mapping I'm going to do here okay but we because it's an array we we need to do a little bit work here so remember that is body then value that's the array we want yeah so for that what we need to do here is So look for the peak code, copy that output of results to and remove that, go to the expression and type output results to question mark, then body, then the value. Otherwise it will fail actually because the filter array expects only the array value here. Click OK that. See same as apply to each. See the apply to each from the past JSON body value. Here we are offering the second result set body value. Okay. Then inside the result two, we have a property called change ID. So to get that, we need to use another expression called item. Question mark. Two square brackets. Then inside two single quotes. Then type change ID is equal to the output of the compose you can map here that is this or you can directly map the incident id here i'm going to map the output of the compose here okay that's that okay the next step add a compose because remember this this filter filter array is going to retain ret return an array actually so to iterate the values from here 
what you could do is you can you can get the body now so let's see the output of that filter by body okay save the flow and i'm going to run it now click test manual and test run the flow done okay flow ran successfully you can see the first one the first result it is getting that one zero five that is the incident id then we are filtering that using the second result set there is one match there here we go that's one result set if i click on show row output you can see that see but here the user hasn't mentioned about is it going to be only one match or more than one match so if you got a single match then we what we could do here is we could directly expose this results into uh, you know using the index or the another easiest way is copy this copy this result set control a control c that edit then you can add another pass json json step map the output of the results coming from the combos 2 which is the body output either you can directly map the body here or the output of the combos 2 okay i'm going to map the output of the combos 2 here then generate from sample copy that that's done then add another combos again so what we want to collect here is it says we want to get the incident id record id created by all that yeah so you could map anything you want here. So I'm going to type uh, the dynamic content here created by. Okay, let's take the incident ID first. Um, sorry, it's created by, yeah. Okay, here we go. That's another array because the, the, the previous step is going to return as an array. So if it's only one, it's going to iterate only once. Okay, that's why you can iterate or get all the values. I'm going to press enter. I don't want to add another combos. So I'm just going to press enter. If you want to add another combos, you can add another combos and map all these values. Here we go. That's ID. Then I'm going to add the incident ID. Here we go. That's incident ID also I got. Yeah, which is the matching value. Or you can map the what is that called uh, change id also it's the same thing yeah and so also you can get the record id rec id if you want so you can get all the values now so you can search for rec id rec id here it is see i'm going to run the flow now and see the results okay let's see the results then so the first one it's matched here we go we got all the values that's one because it's only one match there if it's more than one match it should it, it should show one of uh, two then then the next one because there are two records in my results remember yeah in my result one there are two here yeah so next one is one zero six so let's go back and have a look combos 106 is filtered the array so there is a match for 106 there that's output so you can see the body output there we put that in the past json then iterating that value again so we can see here 106 see so this is the way you can filter and get both values coming from the first results and the second results also so here it's mentioned about merging that you know so you can because we got full control of the um, record here like see the first apply to each for the result one then we got filter array which is for the second result two then we're trading that result coming from the filter array then you know we got the full control of the values we can get from the filter array as well as coming from the previous apply to each that's why i i that's where i shown the last mapping of the values coming from both results yeah hope this is useful thank you for watching